welcome to Bath. Bath is a town in southwest England that's best known for its natural thermal hot springs and beautiful Georgian architecture. So come on, let's go have a look around. Bath Abbey dominates the city centre and has been a work in progress since the 7th century AD. It is still an active place of worship and also hosts secular civic ceremonies, concerts and lectures. It is possible to take a tour of the tower. You'll visit the bell chamber and then take in the spectacular views of Bath from the roof. For food, travel back in time for this historical delicacy. We're about to have one of the Sally Lund, Sally Lund world famous homes. And the reason that they're so famous is because they're from the oldest eating house in Bath. So we're going to give them a try. So they have the cinnamon butter, and the cinnamon butter is one of their most famous recipes and most traditional and authentic to Sally Lund. So let's go. Mm. It's really good. <coughs> it's so cinnamony. Cinnamony? Is that a word? It is now. The Guildhall Market is adorable. Just pop in and have a look around. Nobody says you have to buy anything. But if like me you're a sucker for romance, you must visit the Jane Austen Centre to meet the lady herself, well, in wax at least. Or you might get really lucky and meet your Mr. Darcy. I utterly recommend donning your Sunday best and visiting the Fashion Museum. <laughs> Oh, but of course, the jewel in the crown, the original Roman bath. Bath is the home to the UK's only terminal hot spa. And right now I'm inside the actual original Roman building. This building is here since, well, they dated to about 76 AD. And this bath behind me is where the Romans actually came to bathe. And nowadays we do it in a little bit of a more modern facility, but I will take you there to have a look too. So here's a little sneaky peeky of how the scene would have been set back in the day. I'm about to go in and have a tour around number one Royal Crescent here in Bath. Number one Royal Crescent is um, a Georgian house and it's actually done up immaculately to exactly how it would have been in the 1700s back when Bath would have been possibly the most exciting city in the UK to visit.
Come on, I'll take you on a little stroll around Royal Crescent. It's um, a Georgian Crescent, as you can see, and the architecture here is typical Georgian. So it would have been very, very posh and, and where all the rich and wealthy people lived in their townhouses in the 17th century. If you like Georgian architecture, then you probably must come to visit Bath because it seems to be the epicenter of it. Actually, there's so much history and culture here in Bath that I would kind of liken it to mm, like a Las Vegas for culture vultures. <laughs> If you're the creative type, then you're going to love the Bat Aqua Glass Workshop. If it's really your thing, then you can actually book in to blow a bauble. Eh, voila! I mean, simple, right? Bath is such a compact little city, so you can walk around everywhere. You don't need to get the trains or the buses or anything like that. So because of this reason, I've been walking for what feels like three days just to cover so much on this little trip. So now I'm going to treat myself and go into the thermal spas and lie in the water for two hours and be nourished by all the minerals. Are you jealous? You should be. So no cameras are allowed inside the spa, but don't worry, I had a ball and I did manage to get you some photos. And then you can finish your night having a hoolie with the local folk band. Woo!